All right, so here we are today. Another topless day topless, of uh, topless, top, topless topic. Is I can't even talk today, man. I got toneless topics. We got toneless. Tone deaf topic. I can't even make a joke making fun of it, man. That's a fun name. Topless topics. Yeah, for the topic of the day today. Uh, I don't know, man. Um, you know me watching movies and shit. Um, I watched another Nicolas Cage one. I, I watched another I m- movie last night too. What'd you watch, man? Um, it was uh, it was a Vince Vaughn. Uh, what is oh, it? Dude, better, good. better business or something like that. I think it was. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I think it was called or something like that. Better business. I don't know. Something like that. Here, um, I'll look at him in my That's the fans outside. There you go. I unplugged it. Yeah, we got a doggy fans outside. Uh, this the... morning, I seen an article on Facebook that said Nicholas Cage was having his first kid or something. His first kid? I think so. Holy shit. I don't know. It said it was like, the I mean, girl looked you like know what? That does not like fucking 20. That really does not surprise me. Maybe. Given the fact that um, Bruce Willis. Agent. Bruce Willis. <laughs> He's got hoes in different area codes. Beep, boop. <laughs> Families. He fucking, um, Bruce Willis. He, he has two kids, and he's like 70 years old, and they're like 10 and 7 or some shit. Really, really young. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, we were talking about it, um, episode one. I think you would, uh, you would left. Yeah. Are you trying to figure out what that movie is or something? What's That's crazy. Are you watching the movie right now? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I'm looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, every time you try to fucking find it, whenever you're talking about it, you can't remember it. You can't fucking find it, man. Uh, unfinished business. That's unfinished what it is. Unfinished business. There okay, we go. Okay, okay. And and uh, if you've never seen The Watch either, that was a pretty funny one. That was definitely a pretty oh, funny yeah, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the one with, like, the, the neighborhood watch. And, yeah, like, yeah, Jonah yeah. Hill's there. And there's, there's a few other funny guys in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. I... I I don't remember. I know aliens are involved. That's uh. Yeah, they that's basically like the become. Yeah. <laughs> that's the fucking. Best they thing. they basically become this ner- nerdy neighborhood watch. Yeah, it's. Oh, it's man. it's pretty hilarious. So anyway, yeah. And, and basically, the unfinished business one is basically about this guy that you know he works at this business, and he he goes in one day after you know getting ready to uh, go and shake hands with this big uh, business guy to close this next deal sure, or whatever. Yeah. Well, anyway, he comes to find out, you know, while going into the office that day, uh, before he goes off to do that, that, uh, you know, he has to take a lower cut is what his boss oh, like says. Take a pay cut? Yeah. Oh, Instead of, shit, even yeah. though he's been doing better and getting, He's like you know, the best motherfucker on yeah, the block. He's yeah, been, he's, he's been upgrading guy. everything all year, you know, been kicking ass, you know. Of course, yeah, yeah. He's got to take a lower cut after you know, all this. And he's like, no. Down, yeah. Well, he decides that day, he gets into it and confronts his boss or whatever and ends up like uh, quitting or whatever and decides to open his own business mm-hmm. like within like two days of that opens his own bus- business and ends up like going against his boss for like this same deal or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so here my, my buddy, uh, I'm, honestly, I'm not even really sure how you say his name. It's uh, Stormer5280 on 5280 on Reddit. He's my, he's my buddy I've been talking to about growing. And, you know, we've been kind of like swapping stuff back and forth. He's just like, yeah, give me a shout out. So I was like, yeah, what's up, bud? What is it? A stormer? I, yeah, I think it's I think it's pronounced Stormer. It's spelled kind of weird. It's like S T O E R M E R. Like it is Stormer. It's just like spelled differently. I don't, I've never. Really yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'd say that. But... I never really talk about like, people's usernames because some people are just like I don't know. It's just what's available. <laughs> but what's up, bud man? It's definitely this here's a shout out. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, yeah. Sorry, back back to the movie, man. Anyway, yeah, basically he ends up going against his former boss and opening his own business. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so he, yeah, yeah, he becomes like a competitor. Instead. Yeah, and he, he like on the hell way yeah, out. Dude. That's the way to on do the it. Way out, on the way out, he's like, hey, which one of y'all, you know, there's a bunch of good people who who are here, you know, you know, which one of y'all are coming with me whenever I walk out this door? There's definitely a spot for you. 
<laughs> and fucking there's there ends up being this uh kid that interviewed for the job mm -hmm. that's kind of goofy or whatever and then fucking uh there's an older man and they fired him because uh of his age yeah he was too old or oh, some that's, shit i'm pretty sure that's and illegal but okay anyway they fired him because of that age limit or whatever. Yeah. And then the kid he was interviewing for a job didn't get the job or something. Right. So, and he just happened to show up and fucking what with a box of it? shit and look like he worked there. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse but me. Hell, excuse they me. ended up, yeah, I didn't end, end up ever actually finishing the movie. I keep fucking falling asleep. Oh, but man. <laughs> I'll turn it on and f pass out and. Yeah, that's yeah. like um, I watched I watched uh, Pig, Nick, by it's uh, with Nicolas Cage, and it's 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 a really interesting, more kind of like artsy thing. And funny thing is, is um, it's about a mushroom hunting pig. Like Nicolas Cage is trying to get his <laughs> mushroom, trouble pig back. Mushroom hunting pig. Yeah, it's a trouble pig, but um, yeah, he anyway, yeah, he's. Basically, just lives out in the wood with this pig, this this big pig, you know. And he, he loves the shit out of this pig, you know. It's like his dog, basically. And they just go out and collect, you know, truffles or you know mushrooms or whatever. And then he, this guy comes from in town and buys them from him and stuff. And that's how he makes his money or whatever. I guess I, you know, they don't they don't really set up much of that, you know, because oh fuck, yeah, they don't they don't really set up much of that because it's not important, you know. It's like mm -hmm. some like. One night, these fucking Ooh, meth heads just, like, break into his house and what? kidnap the pig. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, these meth heads break into his house and, like, kidnap his pig. And... I'm getting the pig! Yeah, he wants he wants his wife It reminds me of that part of uh, the movie Red, you know, where he's like, I'm getting that pig. And he gets the fucking pig, and then he pulls out that big-ass fucking assault rifle or whatever out of the pig and starts fucking shit up. I don't know if I've seen what movie Red? Yeah, Red. I don't know if with I've ever Bruce seen Willis. That movie. I don't it's know if one I've of the that. good. Oh man, there's like two or three of them. I have to check. It's like out. Red One. I think there's like Red and then Red Two. Downstairs. Too. Yeah, yeah. I think we actually got them. Oh, I just don't on DVD. DVD. I don't that's the only DVD player. <laughs> that's the problem, man. Everything's your going Xbox away from CD. Can't play shit. Huh? Yeah, your, your Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. No, it doesn't have it. It's the uh, series. They don't S, and it doesn't have a disc drive. Are you serious? Dead serious. Yeah, wow. the PlayStation, yeah. the new PlayStation that was coming out came out like that too, digital mm -hmm. and disc. For a disc drive, it's like almost a hundred dollars more because they yeah. they would uh, that was the more upgraded for like the Super 4K plus five thousand experience or whatever the fuck they I don't you know. Yeah, where the sixty, it's sixty the FPS. Disc, the disc costs like a hundred dollars a pop. Yeah, like I love, I love gaming, but I'm not that that's, deep into. That's it. That's another thing yeah. for uh, topless topics, man. Uh, how much the games have begun began to cost, you know, and and uh, if you actually things. look at the like trend, if you will, like the of prices through like inflation, uh, video games have actually relatively stayed the same over the past decade than they have, you know, anything else. Yeah, I don't know. Usually they're yeah. $60 a game. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You used it, to be is, able to, I, it is still, I think, quite a lot. You used to be able to get games for like $20 a pop, $30 a pop, yeah, you know. Yeah, it depends how popular the game is. Yeah, some depending on the game, then it would be, game. yeah. Especially when, like, that, there's, there's games like um, Destiny. Destiny got really dick slapped about it where they... Um, they effectively were cutting parts of the, the the base game that they created to sell it to back to the gamers as DLC. And it's like, that's kind of bullshit. Like, it's like, first off, you're paying $60 for a game, but then you're turning around and selling me the rest of the game later. Yeah, you're cutting was, pieces out. Yeah, because either for A, because it wasn't done, or B, because um, they just want to be greedy. Especially with Activision. It's another way to make another buck. Yeah, yeah with Activision, they were, like, see, I, I know more, it's like, another, that kind of it's stuff. It's another fee, yeah. Because, I mean, dude, like, that that's, like, that that's a great topic for, um, Maybe that, that's a really good topic for, like, just that corporate greed, you know, for meat to the grinder. As gaming industries are like that, dude, I, I, I wrote an essay on it and shit, it's, uh, I call it gambling for gamers. Because... It was basically how, like, video games, especially like Fortnite and shit like that. Oh yeah. Oh, they're yeah. they're oh, yeah. basically they're basically conditioning kids 
to to buy gamble. the costumes, yeah, to, buy, to, the, to buy, the, buy packs, the gear, the random packs. Yeah, the same with Dead by Daylight does that yeah. with some yeah. of the killer packs and the theme packs and the level packs. And well, see, just, there's, you there's used a to difference. be able to buy a difference. Yeah, you and used to be able to buy a game, and it came not, with you know kind of like the whole thing. I'm not talking and about that. Add-ons. I'm not talking about that. Like when it's when it's like right there in your face for a price, that's okay because one. Dead by Daylight is a constantly online game, so they have to pay to maintain servers. They have to pay to maintain developers well, that to maintain one, the game. That one specifically, but there is ones but, that they do do that where they sell you parts of the game, um, but they sell Call you Call of like, Duty. So Call of Duty, what they do, what I, my my essay focused on was like the loot boxes. So like Call of Duty has where you know after you could buy shit or you level up and you get those boxes. I never really played a lot of kind yeah, of like Call of Duty because I don't like yeah. it. Yeah, but they're random. And that that's the shit like that they're they're conditioning kids for gambling because the majority of people that play Call of Duty are kids yeah. and especially those kinds of games. And it's like that kind of shit's like gearing those same kind of those people to be 20, 30 years from now sitting there fucking at the at the gas station on those fucking little digital slot machines, just throwing their money away, spinning it away. And even those even those 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 digital ones, you notice those are replacing more and more old school ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're yeah. more they're more designed to engage people with like the flashiness and the lights and the the yeah. games and yeah shit the fun the fun look of it them, yeah to keep them fucking just like locked on it yeah it's the hypnotizing effect kind of yeah. like a television absolutely that's why I said dude that one episode of uh, this goes back to the movies and uh, the Riddler whatever he made uh, the what the fuck is that? Exovision or whatever it was. Uh, I know because he calls it like brain drain, but that's not what they, yeah. he sold it as. Yeah, um, yeah it was like Exovision where it's just like yeah. psh, warping the minds and collecting the yeah, intelligence the of the box, people. The little yeah. green box thing that sat on everybody's TV was just like... <laughs> yeah, it was like the new cable box thing or yeah. something, you know. And you could put this little... But you, you could see everybody's thoughts and... and yeah, you know. collect all that intelligence from mm -hmm. all that shit. Yeah. Honestly, I think that would have been better. That scheme, I feel, would have been better if it would have been done in like the uh, like the Dark Knight universe, you know, with like that Batman, like how dark it was. Yeah. Because it was just like Jim Carrey was really good, but he was just way too comical. And it was like, especially with the kind of gimmick he was doing, like the plan he was doing, like that's fucking like badass. Oh yeah, that I don't know. I still love that movie. That was like one but, of my favorite Batman. Yeah, yeah, Batman Forever. Yeah, that's a really yeah, good. That was one. like one of my favorite ones, especially yeah. for the Riddler. And then what was it? Batman Returns for the Penguin. Ed, baby. The fucking Penguin, man. You are fired, <laughs> or should I say, terminated? <laughs> One of my favorite lines, one of my absolute favorite ones, and I, I still use it to this day, like to people, like because it's perfect for it's like, don't don't give it away, you know, don't don't tell them how to figure out how to tie their, you know, you know, don't don't tie their shoes for them, do you know, let them learn how to do it, and he, he says he says to uh, Two Face because he's about to shoot Batman, and he's just like no, he's like, don't kill him, he won't learn nothing, and it's like you kill him. He yeah. won't learn nothing. Exactly, yeah. He's like, you know, if you kill him, you he won't learn. And, like, I, I'll literally say that to people, like, when they're like, oh, can you do this for me? And it's like, no. If you kill him, he won't learn nothing. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? And it's exactly. like, if you do it for him, they won't be able to figure out how to do it. It's like, you can help them figure it out, but make them do it. Yeah, you got to do it for yourself. In the end, you got to do it you for yourself. You hear that, motherfuckers? <laughs> In the end, you got to do it for yourself. You can yeah. show someone how to do it, but they have to have the will to try to do it. Bingo, bango, bongo. So get out there, everybody. And do it. And do it. Just do it. No, we're not advertising for Nike. No, dude. Fuck Shia LaBeouf, <laughs> man. Well, Shia LaBeouf. You know their thing is just do it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh. All righty here. I'm like uh, one. I am a hundred percent for free free speech. I I mean, come on, dude. I, oh yeah. I straight share share, share where you know. I'm I'm but, all about free speech and shareware. Yeah. Like sharing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> shareware. Open source, they call it. Open, now. open well, source. Well, open source, basically. Yeah. You know, in a sense, I think you know there should be some things, a lot of things that should be open source. You know, for the creative aspect. You know, yeah. you can still have the original content. Or whatever the original feature, 
and you know everybody you know create off of that or base an ideology off of that yeah because yeah. that's where every idea comes from your idea was inspired from another idea or or you know that's where inspiration comes from a lot of the time mm -hmm. is from one idea to the next idea to you know, you actually, know one event to the next event there's there's some people that say that um a true original idea does not exist anymore because no, of just it, how long of human civilization has existed for it, there's there yeah they're probably been recreated in many several I mean, like, different it, it it's thoughts, it's, it's impossible know. it's a hundred percent impossible to like just come up with one right there and then like it, it it's the same idea of like imagine a color you've never seen go ahead close your eyes for a second and try to imagine a color you have never seen there isn't one. There isn't one. There isn't one that's probably hasn't been mixed or matched or made yeah. of some sort. I mean, Similarity. That's what I'm saying. Like there, there's colors that we as humans cannot perceive, like ultraviolet, ultraviolet, blah, 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 ultraviolet um, all the fuck. There's you know there's all sorts of them. I can't think of them off the top of my head. X-ray. I think that's a light. There's there's all sorts of spectrum of fucking light, dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> It's like just it's like just having like there's a bazillion channels on TV. There's like a different spectrums of fucking light. It's ridiculous, but that's you know the progression of humans. And again, like the whole fucking the fact of like it seems like everything has been beaten to death, or it's reboots. It's fucking you know remade. Yeah, yeah, remakes, re redoings, reimaginings. Let's let's do the new shoot of you know whatever it is. And it's like. It's like really, I mean, it's like, I don't know, it's 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 crazy because I mean, really, if you look at it, a lot of a lot of stories, truthfully, follow the same kind of formula. You have a hero and a fucking bad guy, basically. I, I can't remember the terms off the top of my head. It's um hero and a villain. Uh, I can't I can't think. Of it. Uh... I can't Holy think of like the, the like literary terms because I know there's like antagonists, protagonist and antagonist. There you go. Pro protagonists are are like the good guys. Antagonists are the people that are enemies or trying to stop the hero from accomplishing their purpose or you know their purpose in the story. And narrative is just what changes, but that that formula typically stays the same. If you watch it and observe it, you'll see it. Like basically, it's like. You know, you got the good guy starting out on his quest. Something motivates them to do their quest, to do whatever, to put their story into motion. Something happens. Antagonists come along to destroy it. Yeah. Stop it. Stop, stop the progress. It. Stop the hero. Interfere somehow and, in some sort. Yeah. yeah, and it's not even so much in the way of like, oh, kill him. It, it could be like a lover. You know, like he wants to follow his dreams and be a fucking rocket man. And his lover wants him to, you know, she could be the antagonist in that story because she's standing in the way of his dreams or whatever. You know what I mean? That's yeah. like, that's, that's the, the purpose. The, yeah. But yeah. there's, there's typically in a story format, depending on the, the length, there's, there's conflicts. There's, and it's typically like, it starts out where the hero encounters the antagonist is somewhat beaten in some kind of way, be it like, oh, I'm the boss, or they're, you know, they call the cops, or, you know, something, you know what I mean? There's some kind of way that the antagonist wins, and in in, in the, more, the most straightforward sense is, like, physical fight. The bad guy fucking beats up the good guy. Doesn't kill him, but he beats him up and just leaves him there, you know what I mean? And then story progresses, hero either learns a lesson or something... Or that, overcomes, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That allows them to overcome their antagonist. <coughs> Spider-Man's a big one for that. Yeah, yeah I mean, for example, yeah, Spider-Man's yeah. a very good example. I mean, really, any comic book. Any comic, can, yeah. Comic books are but... pretty much copy-paste. And that that's that's actually a good one. It's like, which which came first? You know, it's kind of like the chicken and the egg, but it's like, you know, did, did supervillains come because superheroes? Or did superheroes come because of supervillains? You know what I mean? I don't know. I'd, I'd say they definitely kind of, there will never, unfortunately, as much as we'd like to think, be a good without a little bit of a, an evil side. Like, for, yeah, for, yeah. for that equal balance, 
same with the light and the darkness thing. There has to be light. Yeah, you yeah, know, you, yeah. I mean, there has to, to be have dark for there to be under, you know, a dark. Yeah, and you have to have darkness to appreciate the light. And that, that actually reminds me of a quote from uh, Kingdom Hearts. It's um, you know, be careful when you're you're standing in the light because the closer you are to the light, the greater your shadows become. And you know, it's just like because that that was like representing like the size of their shadows and all that kind of stuff. That's a good game if you ever played it. Good story. Really long, kind of convoluted, but really good. A lot of fun. Gosh, Move. Especially, uh, Move. Toy Story um, is featured in, I think, Kingdom Hearts 3. You actually get to go to the Toy Story world for the first time. Yeah, that was a really cool game. I never really got into Final Fantasy until they made the Kingdom really? Hearts. Made and yeah. and then after they made uh, the Kingdom the Hearts Story version, that was whenever I actually what started it? checking it out and they stuff really like that. that Toy Story part? Yeah, in the game, yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I remember Kingdom Hearts like the very first time playing it. That shit's OG. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I didn't play uh, any I Final... I loved running around with Goofy and all them. Yeah, I didn't play Final Fantasy until they made Kingdom Hearts. That was whenever... One of the first times I I, I tried it, and I was pots. like, oh, yeah. Smoke pots. Smoke pots, everybody. Yeah. Every time... This is the first time you smoke <laughs> pots. One of the first times. Don't do drugs, kids. I, I was playing, that was the first time I ever played Kingdom Hearts, the very first one, OG, fuck, PS2. Yeah. Man, that shit was just like, it blew my mind, and I was just like, whoa! I know, I was so excited, like... Actually, before... I remember that. I, and the so, Keyblade, man, the Keyblade that he used to oh, have, dude, man, that thing was are the awesome. Shit. There's actually a mobile game, I don't know if it's still on there or not, but it's, it's, a, it's kind of a mobile Kingdom Hearts game, and you can collect different... Keyblades and they all have different attributes and abilities and whatnot. I, I was playing it for a while back in 2016, 2017, and that's crazy. Yeah, you can you you can like customize your own little avatar because in in the story of Kingdom Hearts, there's like this big ass Keyblade War, and there like it, it, there's actually clips in, where it takes place in what they call the Keyblade Graveyard, and it's literally just this like giant battlefield. Where there's just countless keyblades, and it's just like where this like epic battle took place of keyblade wielders, and they all just killed each other basically. I you know and that that's going back to that like light and dark thing that was literally like a a representation of light and dark. <laughs> Do a lot of oh, different things dude, here. That's, by the way, so my my little uh, mushroom graveyard garden thing. Mm -hmm. Um, yesterday when I was coming home from here. The the lady that lives down the like, road that has all the shit in her yard. Like, oh, she, just look to the right when you're walking down like towards my house. Say, just look to the right, like a few doors down. I know what you're house. talking about. Yeah, they this got, lady has. They like, got a, a pl uh, all sorts of shit. They oh, got a yeah, buffet they, of stuff in their yeah. yard, man. Yeah, they got well, they, statues and shit in there. Their room. yard is packed as full as it could be. They, it's like they didn't want no more grass. They just wanted yard decorations. Yeah. There's, there's a log there. And then they there. stopped doing the project or something. I don't know what happened. There's a big-ass <laughs> log there, and it looks like basically from here down of a human, just with, like, like out... Basically from, like, your knees to your hips of a human. That's what this, like, stump looks like. And I, I put it in my fucking mushroom bed, so I'm going to try to grow, like, oysters. Oh and I can totally grow something, like, right in the crotch region. Either, like, the oysters, which, if you if you look at it, it would kind of look like, you know, hair for a lady. Oh, or I could just go, I could go full on with it and just try to put get a mushroom grass. that just, boop, right out of it. You know what I mean? It's not impossible to do. I can do it. I'm just, the oysters one would be pretty good because I got blue oysters. Oh, that would look so cool, too. Like I know you're like I don't even know the fuck you're talking. Sorry, I'm I'm blue oysters like, like honestly I'm thinking about making. Another... I'm just imagining one of those like statue statues, you know, those real architectural statues. Yeah. That they'd have with the angels and you know, it, yeah, molding yeah. over, growing mossy weird mm -hmm. shit over. That basically it, you know? what it is. Yeah. It just be mushrooms. And it's kind of funny because it's like ew, it's a blue see, fungus. See, I want to I want to get into uh I don't know if you you probably heard of them air plants, where they literally. Like you can hang them in a tree. Like I seen them when I was down in Florida. Uh, Dad actually oh. had them. I had one in his yard, and it was like Those literally sound like hurricane pinatas. It's like basically a ball, and you just like hang it in a tree or some shit or whatever, and it would collect its own moisture and That's it would live weird. off the air for the most part. It's fucking weird. Yeah, it was pretty badass though. Huh. 
That was, that was like the first time I had ever seen them. And I was like, man, after that, I was like, man, I want to get an air plant. Fucking just hang it that there. That sounds pretty cool grow. to check out. Just hang it in the window I mean, and just let it. I don't know. Is it like just like collect moisture from. Yeah, humidity? it's just like a root ball. I mean, because down in Florida, thing. that makes sense because Florida is like super fucking humid. I mean, you live down there, you know. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, like that, that makes sense that it, the, those plants. It, are... It's just it was wild. This thing was huge. Though. Yeah, it was about fucking, this big cool. around. It was about at least a foot by foot around. No shit. Yeah. And they, that had big? It, wow. they had it chained up to a tree, you know, from like, you know, a triangle, you know, mount or whatever. Yeah. And it had uh, got so big and grown so big that it busted and dropped off. So, oh, shit. So I had to go over and help dad and the neighbor hang it back up in the tree. Yeah. And, you know, chain it back up. That's fucking nuts, dude. But this thing was huge. I was like, man, I want to get one of those. I'd never seen anything like that before. I was like, that's awesome. An air plant? That's yeah. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> Just hang it there and it grows. It's kind of like that uh, mossy stuff that would grow in the trees and stuff, you know? Yeah. Just grow on the tree branches and it was like frosty white and stuff. Quit it just stuff was pretty cool. Me. Quit sniffing your button shit. Okay. Sorry. Go somewhere else. Sorry, get out of here, bro. weird dog. Like get out of here. Hopefully, that didn't mess I'll up start my stuff. So, but... Still going on without you. The show must go on. It's for the people. Just anything and everything, whether it be the fucked up dog down the road that shits in your yard every time he walks by, or fucking your damn boss and having to go to work and work shit hours all the time and be fucking put into the meat grinder like a fucking meat bag. You become a meat bag. You are a meat bag. Welcome to the world, everybody. Be a meat bag and grind yourself. <laughs> grind yourself for free. Grind yourself down into our fucking words. The, the, um, 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 quick, um, there's like 17 of those. Well, they like this flavor of it. Let's give it another flavor. Bro. One Let's more package of ramen noodles, everybody. Yeah, like, fuck. Line me. on up for your powdered season. Come on down, the cars, Kyle. We got everything you meat bags need to make your own bags of meat. Like the all new Flesh Bag Meat Grinder 5000. Grind them bones, baby. One more flavor of powdered but salt. Actually, that's a little fun fact about TV shows. If you notice, a majority of them, especially big ones, if you watch, like, depending on when they started, I, I don't remember exactly when. But, like, you'll notice a, a decrease in it in, like, older TV shows, like, say, earlier 2000s to, we'll say, after 2010, 2011. I, I, I can't tell you exactly when because I notice it through shows that I watch. Right. But there'll be seasons that would say there'll be, like, 20 episodes. Well, another season will come along and there, there was only 10 episodes or something. And, and, like, Walking Dead did it where they did, like, mid-season breaks. <laughs> Are you tired of your city life and living in your house and not being able to get out enough? Maybe Tent Mountain is the place for you. The only place where you can camp for free. If you camp free, you get pop up automatic tent 2000. It's really good against wind. Make your getaway today at Tent Mountain, where you'll feel home, and you won't be killed by crazy people. And, and like, a part, a lot of that came from, um, I think, like a, a writer's strike. I'm not 100% sure, but I know, like, there was a big writer's strike at some point where a lot of shows like they were just like getting fucking crammed overtime overtime fucking just like let's go 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 you know and, and meet to the grinder you know and they they they're like union or i don't know if they did unionize i don't know what you know i don't know the whole deal because i don't know how like show writers work but like yeah apparently they had some kind of big strike and that's what kind of caused a shift and like a drop down in like the the counts of seasons oh look at one of your tv shows and you'll you'll see what i'm talking about i'm trying to think of a good example off the top of my head Coming this fall, biggest booty flapping the fin of the sea.
Pork and pop cans, baby. But yeah, Walking Dead was really good about that. It's kind of like why they do that stuff. I don't know. Uh, yeah, lie to me though. Like I, the the premise of it was really really good. There was another one I seen. I, I it only lasted a few episodes, but I thought like the idea of it was super cool. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was like a wait for like half of a season, and then it was like yeah, fuck this. Hi, I'm Mike Pancake. Come on down to Mike Pancakes, the place where you can get them number one pancakes, flippity floppity fresh. They might not look like a pancake, but I guarantee they make you feel awesome. I'm Taco Team. <laughs> Bo. Taco Timos. The only team dedicated to getting you them tasty, toasty tacos. Join Taco Timos today. Taco! Anyway, welcome to Topless Topic, where we talk about anything and everything. Murderville. So that that show is fucking hilarious. It's like a fictional kind of like crime show, and each episode has a different celebrity guest starring. And their guest starring is like a junior detective or like a rookie detective or some shit. And they're with the senior detective, and he, he's very, very explicit that he is the senior detective, you know? But uh, they basically, like, the guest doesn't have any kind of lines. They don't know what the fuck to do, so they just have to, like, roll along with it. <laughs> and, you know, basically, like, make the scene. Dude, it's so fucking funny, man. You, you have to check it out. It's only, like, I think, like, eight episodes. So, you know, it's only, like, that one little shit. thing. Five episodes. Yeah. It's I even, crap. dude, it's even worse when they, when they, they make it, and then they're like, oh, we'll have one right now. We'll have one next week. We'll have one. And it's like, yeah, like, guys. it's a weekly Do you thing? ever watch that Reacher one that I told you about or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, I started I, watching it. I, I only got, like, two I, I got, a, I got a bit way into it, it, but I kind of got lost and confused. And I'm sure there's stuff. It was pretty badass. But, um, One Punch Man. That is an amazing anime to watch. It's oh, hilarious. Yeah. Did you ever check out that Goku one? Too? I started the to. Goku uh, detective yeah, that dude. Shit's, that shit's way that too shit weird. That shit is fucking man. crazy. I'm like, I, I can't get into it. The, the peacock lady. The that's fucking... like that's like that Necronomicon shit I was checking out, man. Oh uh, yeah, that I sent you that the wing to the ne first time, Necronomicon. Yeah. Yeah. First time I turned on, I slept like a baby. I was like, what the fuck? I just I go rabbit like, hold into it somehow, and I was like, what? I go to fucking, like, start watching it, and now my phone's being all weird, man. Like, it's doing all sorts of weird shit lately. What the fuck's going on here, phony? What are you doing? I'm not paying. <laughs> I ain't paying for that shit. I did all the work no free. I mean, honestly, yeah, I'd, I'd have to respect that. If, like, somebody did, like, hack into my shit, if they did that, that work just to, like, spy on me like that, like, well, you earn that show. It, it really is becoming real. We are all part of the Truman Show, man. Mm-hmm. Every I mean, day, we do you it, wake up. We do it willingly. It's like, and, and we record our burrito. Did he know that he was in a show? I don't think so. Did he? No, no. The yeah. whole movie. Everybody else around him did, though. Yeah. 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 The whole movie. Uh... Just imagine living a life like that. That would fuck you up, dude. Oh, he finds out. I think. Yeah. 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 And yeah. He, yeah, has he, that, he that, goes like basically that, banana yeah. ramas. Yeah. yeah he's like... I don't blame him. Because he, he even like gets in the boat and like sails and like sails, 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 I, and it fucking just ends up at like a wall. Yeah. And I, I think somebody like opens. Yeah. I can't remember. It's been a long time, but like somebody opens the door or something. It is so <laughs> a perfect perception of life these yeah. days with the lives dude, and the cameras and I mean just think everything about it, like just... Rick and Morty there's the episode I think I think we talked about it last episode <laughs> it feels cool today like so like we were talking about it, we're like yeah, come yeah. on down to Tilly you know Tilly Tom's crazy auto car house you know we're guaranteed to get you a car with four tires you know <laughs> she'll roll down the road as far as she'll go <laughs> however hard your feet can push her we'll get you there you know tell your kids get out and help the cheapest, Bring your chance, get a discount. The, che the cheapest car you can get with four wheels that'll get you down the road. Right? And that's the only thing you get. That's the bottom line guarantee. Four tires. Four tires, four doors. <laughs> Cause we, dude, that'd be like such a scummy thing too, dude. Like, cause somebody would do that too. Like, people would be like, okay, I, I, I think that means like I'm guaranteed a car. You know, that sounds like you could like convince that. Yeah, I mean, dude, come on. It, it's not like it takes people that fucking hard. Like, I mean, fuck, dude, they already basically do that kind of shit. It's like I'm waiting for it to fucking pop up where it's like. I've never heard anybody say anything about everything was impossible. I'm waiting for somebody to fucking steal oh, that no. shit. Oh, they're, they're gonna. Just wait. I don't care, though, because at this point, I'm just like, you know, it's not like I'm out there, like, making it famous or anything. So it's like, if somebody else turns around and be like, I still said it, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That's like, dude, I blew my I blew my own fucking mind. You want to talk about, like, there no, not being real creativity? I was in, I was 18. I just graduated high school. And I was living, I was living in the apartment, you know, it's like basically just down the street. Yeah, yeah. 
I was I was just sitting there smoking pot and I, I came JP. up. I came up in uh I came up with this whole idea about time travel. And then years later, when I was I was in the army and stuff, watching X Files, which had existed before I had ever come up with that idea. And I never watched X Files because the first time I ever seen it was when I was a little kid and it scared the absolute oh, yeah. fuck I, I, out I, of yeah, me. Yeah, I remember yeah. watching it as a kid. Yeah, I'm like, That's man, I can't watch that. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, I, I used just to never scare the fuck out of me too. But there's an episode. There's an episode where a killer is using that exact technology that like I just come up with as an 18 year old stoner. Like I, I didn't have any idea how to do it, obviously. But like that was I was like because it was like the idea was like reducing everything to absolute zero. Absolute zero is is the point where all movement stops every molecular movement <laughs> stops now if if we as people could figure out a way because time is is theoretically exists in a physics state yeah and they call them like chronotons ergo theoretically you should be able to find a way to um like bring everything down to absolute zero the entire like everything and then you fucking just walk backwards and forwards through time depending and you are time traveling in the future Mm -hmm. That's simple, everybody. Not that simple. Just, re just reduce the, the complete molecular temperature of complete existence to absolute zero, and then just walk forwards future. for, you know, future, backwards. I don't know which one is left or right. I've never been there, so Another you'll have to read the signs when you get there. I don't, I don't fucking know. It's literally how simple it is. And there's an episode of X-Files where they had a suit like, that did do that. We're, we're, we're getting ready to actually time travel right now, everybody. So, yeah, you better get them likes and shares, and right now we're going to time travel. Boo! Can the dogs time travel? Has anybody looked up whether or not dogs can time travel? I think they can. Yeah. I think they can too. Okay. Think about how much, how long, how many hours a day they sleep. Like, they're, what they're goes constantly on time in, traveling. What goes on in their head? The crazy possibilities of things that'll go on. That's it today on Topless Topics. Till next time, thank you for joining. Please like and subscribe.